Right, I've taken the head off. I found that the spindle is rock solid on this. It's not not budging, so we're trying to free that up first with a bit of WD-40 and see where we go from there. Right, I'm gonna try and get, I don't know if you can see, a little circlip. I'm just trying tapping it out from this side. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't ping out. I've got it loose there, so I'm gonna try and grab it with a pair of nose pliers and pull it out. All right, circlip's out. Now, I'm gonna spray a bit of WD-40 in there, uh, tap that in, and uh, see if we can grease it up and free it up a bit. Right, so you can see we've tapped that in. You want to make sure you don't tap it in too far, otherwise you lose it. And now set of grips on it, and literally just wiggle it, because you want that W40 inside to go over so that it lubes up the spindle fully, and then you can pull it out again, and make sure that is, yeah, see? Now I can move that by hand. So that basically drags the W40 in and out, so it lubes up the whole spindle. Now put the circlip back in, put the head back on and test. Right, so I've just turned it on for the heating. Turn the room start up. Right, spindle opens. Now I'm gonna turn the heating off and turn the hot water on. Right, the good thing is for hot water, the three port has sprung back, it doesn't go it's not open anymore, so we know that it's working on that side, but that cylinder start just seems to be...